Neo pronouns are a great way to mark mental illness. I don't give a fuck more. This has gone too far. You're gonna say, oh, these people are such a high s at rate. They're a high s rate anyways. They're mentally f Well, bud, using your logic, middle-aged white men from Canada are the most at risk for s So by your logic, you happen to be the most mentally unstable person on this app. Huh. And that's saying a lot. Get help. Use a pronoun, maybe. Don't be another statistic. A. Eh? That first dude is the perfect example of when you get lost in the sauce of thinking deeply about shallow things, you drown in your own shallow understanding. Oh, for y'all that don't know, my name is Consciously. My preferred pronouns is he, him, and they. If we being real, Pronouns used to just be another part of grammar that we all had to learn until Republicans realized folks was acknowledging their own humanity with it, and then it got trivialized. Just sprinkling a little bit of context in, we know that pronouns are the ways that we identify ourselves outside of our names. He, her, him, she, they, them, those type of things, right? Sometimes people will deploy temper tantrums when they don't understand something. And that's what we see this dude is doing in regards to neo pronouns or new pronouns. They are the pronouns that is increasingly used in place of she, he, or they when they're referring to a person. Education is elevation and we know examples of neo pronouns, examples of V, Ni, Z, Spivak, E, M, Er. If it annoys you that people want to respond to themselves this way, first it shows you you don't understand language and linguistics because language all is made up and it's all fluid. Second thing it shows you is that you have a weird way in being invested in denying other folks' humanity because if another person using a particular pronoun gives them a sense of self or gives them a sense of understanding or consciousness or awareness, what does that have to do with you? Why does that piss you off? Simplistically stating it, pronouns and neo pronouns is inconsequential to how you live your life. You feel me? And right wingers are trying to hijack this quote unquote culture war to be able to almost spoon feed stupidity to their followers. You feel what I'm saying? Man committed shameful acts with other men and received in themselves a due penalty for their error. I gave them words with depraved minds so that they do what they should not be done. They invent ways of doing evil. But let me remind you that those who do such things deserve death. The LGBT community not only continues to do these very things, but also approves of those who practice them. And let me end by saying that God loves everyone. He even loves those of the LGBT community. But he doesn't like their practices or their moral standards. What? Okay, thank you. When straight men can't be comfortable in their own masculinity, it speaks volume of their manhood. Oh, man, let me say this real clear, right? A lot of people are having hard times recognizing LGBTQ acknowledgement politically, socially, economically, because who you is is defined in opposition to them. It's been defined by their marginalization. What we need to come to recognize is whenever we start talking about the LGBT community, if you believe you're being came for, that speaks volumes of your character and not theirs. <laughs> Education is elevation.